Okay, welcome back to AlkaJS. Today's question is leak code 424, longest repeating character replacement. So in this question, we have to return the length of the longest substring that contains the same letters and you're only allowed to perform K operations or K updates. So we have two updates that we can perform in example one and we have this string of ABAB. So we can update one of these strings for one of these operations. So if we update A to B, K will decrement to one and then if we move along and update A to B again, then K will be equal to zero. We've used up all our operations and the longest substring we can generate from that is four. Okay, so we know what we need to do in this question. We have a string right here and we can see from this, if we choose this substring, we'll have to update this character right here to an A in order to get a value of four. So how would we go about doing that? Well, we can loop through this array using a left and right pointer. So left and right. We can map out the indices. We want to get the length of this string. So it'll be right minus left plus one to get it, right? Because three minus zero plus one is equal to four. The length of this substring is four. So right minus left plus one. Now, in order to get the amount of Bs within this substring, because we want to update the B, right? In order to get this B, we need to subtract the As. So we need to grab the frequency of the As, right? So if we say minus A frequency, which is essentially going to be three, this will give us the value of B. Right, so this is going to give us B. Now, if B is less than or equal to K, then we can update the longest to the length of this substring, right? So if this is less than or equal to K, we can update the longest to equal this substring. So this is the equation we're going to be using for this solution, but how are we going to map this out? Well, we're going to need a map data structure. We're going to use a two pointer technique along with this, and this map is going to store how many times we see each character. So up to this level, we have A is pointed to three and B is pointing to one. We're also going to need a top frequency, right? And this variable is just going to be the character that we have seen the most throughout this. So at this point in time, it's going to be three, right? Because A is mapping to three, B is mapping to one, the greatest is three. Now we can slightly adjust this equation. So rather than A frequency, we can add top frequency, and this is going to equal smallest frequency. So let's run through this solution. We start off here, we have a left and right pointer. Let's map out the indices. So the first thing we do is we look at the right point. We see that we're at an A, is A within the map? No, it's not. So we update the map to contain A and add a value of one. We update the top frequency to one and we can use this equation down here in order to work out whether we can update the longest. And we, we already know we can update the longest in this case. So the longest is going to go to one. We move across, we update the map to two. Top frequency is going to be two. Again, we can update the longest. We move the right pointer to B. Now we add B into the map. Top frequency is going to be the maximum between top frequency and the value we just added in. And now we make a check. So it's two minus zero plus one minus top frequency of two. This is equal to one, right? So the smallest frequency, as we can see in the map, is equal to one. Is this less than or equal to K? Yes, it is. So we can update the longest to right minus left plus one, right? Because well, the longest is going to be the maximum between the current longest and this value here, which we've worked out is valid. So we'll update longest to three and we'll move our right pointer along. The right pointer is at an A. We can update the map at key of A to three. And also we can update the top frequency to three now. Now we can look into this equation, right minus left. So three minus zero plus one is equal to four minus the top frequency of three is going to equal one. This is equal to K, so this is a valid substring. So we can update the longest to right minus left plus one, which is going to be four. And then we move the right pointer along. So the right pointer is at a B, so we update B within the map to two. Top frequency is still three, and now we make the check. So right minus left, so four minus zero plus one minus the top frequency of three is equal to two. This is greater than K. So here we need to decrement the value of A from map. So A goes to two, decrement the map before moving the left pointer. Then we update the left pointer by shifting it across by one. So now that we've updated the map, we've uh, decremented the value and moved the left pointer across. We also need to update the top frequency, which is going to be two, the highest frequency within the map that is. And now we can update this equation. So it's going to be four minus one plus one minus top frequency of two. Well, what is that equal to? That is still equal to two. So again, we need to update the map. We decrement the value of A, we move the left pointer along. Top frequency is still two, so we're at B, A, B. So it's going to be four minus two plus one minus 
top frequency of two. Now that is going to be one. So this is valid, right? Because the smallest value is A in this case. So now we can compare this substring with the longest value. The longest value is still four, so we keep that and then we iterate across. So we move the right pointer across, we repeat the process. We update the value of B in map to three. Top frequency goes to three. And then we look into this equation. So right is equal to five, left is equal to two plus one. This minus the top frequency of three is going to give us value of one. This is valid because it's equal to the number of operations that we can carry out within this substring. And as we can see, the only value we need to remove is A. So this substring is equal to length four. We check it against the longest value. They're equal, so we keep four. And then we repeat the process. So we move the right pointer along, check the map, check the top frequency, update this equation. And as you can see, for the rest of the string, we're not gonna get anything longer than four. So that is the solution to this question. And time complexity for this solution is going to be of n, where n is the length of the string, and space is going to be of n, where n is the amount of keys within the map. So let's code this out. We're going to initialize a map, our top frequency, the longest string, and the left and right pointer. So while right is less than string.length, we need to carry this out. So let's first extract the right character, which is going to be s at right. Then we need to update the map. So look into the map to see if we have the right character. If we do, then we just add one to the value that is within the right character. Otherwise, we set it to one. Then we update the top frequency, which is going to be math.max between top frequency and map at right character. And this is where we implement the equation. So it's going to be a while loop and it's going to be while right minus left plus one. So the length of the substring minus the top frequency. So the character that has been seen the most, if this is greater than K, then we need to update the left pointer. So let's get the left character, which is S at left. Let's decrement it from the map. And then let's update the left pointer. So this will iterate through the string until we have a valid substring. And then we can update the longest, which is going to be the maximum between the current longest and the current length of the substring, which is right minus left plus one. And finally, we need to update the right pointer. Then all we need to do is return the longest and give this a run. Submit it. And there you go.